Hello and welcome back. This is Girl Hammer. Ugh, I look a lot like the naked archaeologist. I don't even like that guy. He didn't call himself that anymore. Hey, but anyway, uh, this is about Giselle Fetterman. Um, I don't know if you've been keeping up with things. Uh, today is March the 3rd. Last night, Tim Pool was talking about some things that have happened in the past about eight days. Uh, let's look into this. I want to go over this as quick as I can. The first time I recorded this, it went 28 minutes. That was just way too long. So I'm going to be talking real, real fast here, and I apologize. So no, you have not changed the speed of your YouTube video. I'm just going to be talking pretty fast. So let's, um, I, I, I got a couple of different articles up here that I want to look at and uh, go over with you. Um, And this lady has been in the news and been in the news media for quite a while, um, heralding herself being a bisexual wife of uh, Pennsylvania, of, of John Fetterman. Um, they went to a, uh, I don't know if it was a parade or something. There's a picture of them with, with their family. They're all dressed up in the rainbow colors. And uh, two of the kids just look like they don't want to be there. Another, and John Fetterman. Uh, looking like his Eeyore self has been, and the only one kid and her the only ones that are really smiling uh, I, so okay come on that's what I'm looking for come on so the weird thing is is that there's a lot of strange things overall um, that just don't exactly add up here, especially with the current events that are going on around John himself, which is unfortunate. Uh, having a stroke is not a fun thing. It's not. It's not funny. It's not to be laughed at. Uh, it's not uh, the president. The resident in chief should not be laughing at a lady who's lost her her two kids. Um, so. You know, when the Washington Blade caught up with Giselle Barreto Fetterman this month, she was looking forward to some upcoming travel plans. Um, and I am reading, this is, well, I'm trying to get to WashingtonBlade.com up here, because this is where this is coming from. And it was, uh, and here's this, this image, and I'll put the image up here as well. Yeah, my computer's doing a little something funny. Um, I, I hope being on this this website, the WashingtonBlade.com, isn't going to mess mess up my computer uh, because it's very friendly, a little too friendly if you, if you understand my meaning. But um, yeah, it's taken its uh, a while for it to to pull up. But our, our, the article is pretty much explaining about her travel plans, and uh, and this was an article from March. Here we go. It's America's L LGBTQ news source, Washington Blade. Meet Giselle Fetterman, bisexual wife of Pennsylvania's incoming uh, freshman uh, senator. Okay, there's the image. First up is a trip to Washington in January to witness the swearing in ceremony for her husband, uh, John Fetterman, who was just elected to represent the Keystone State in the U.S. Senate after one of the year's most hard fought midterm races. Then in March, she plans to visit her family in Brazil. Okay, and then they go on and, and they, they get really divisive about the who the the president of, of Brazil was and who it's going to be. Uh, they're going woke as well from the sounds of it. Um, and they just, you know, right-wing extremists kind of put, and it's like, it's obvious that, that this, this article is very biased. Uh, lady by example of love and unconditional acceptance. Um, you know, uh, and just going on about that community and hosting a, a, a wedding of these two men in their own home. And one of their kids is kind of questioning it and is like, what? And um, she's like, you know, honey, he marries people all the time. Like, no big deal. Um, even when it was before it was illegal, you know, and it's like, so you were marrying same sex couples when it was illegal. Interesting. Anyway. So that that was kind of a, like an interesting faux pas that was sort of mentioned here. Um, but there was something else in here that I just found really interesting. 
And yeah, I think that I've already mentioned it. And it was it was her travel plans, going to DC, going to Brazil, et cetera, et cetera. And then she goes into about all this other stuff because it's an article concerning LGBTQ. So of course she has to mention LGBTQ and their involvement in it. And they got the the picture up here. So the virtual signaling one you know, virtual signal one oh one, Democrat stuff, you know, the normal kind of things. Uh, look what I'm doing. I'm doing the right thing. Uh, so that's kind of what this article is really all about. But let's keep that in mind. In the meantime, let's let's see here. Uh, now, uh, Pen Live is is a very good website for from Pennsylvania, which let, lets us know all what's going on there from the, the tragedies, the obituaries, the news. Uh, Rex and, and everything and as well as the political stuff going on up there as well I'm not in Pennsylvania but I have been through there once a long time ago back in 1987 but that doesn't mean anything um, okay okay that's what that article is about but there was one from June 2nd of last year, last summer. Um, oh, come on. My computer's just going kind of slow. Is this the Pen Live article from June 7th? Well, I got a blur about it right here, but it basically, uh, again, Giselle coming up, uh, coming out and uh, saying, because you got to put this in perspective, the stroke happened in May of last year. So this was weeks after his, his the stroke that he had. Um, and, and Fetterman's health return to campaign trail, a mystery as some Democrats grow very nervous about the Senate race. Of course, this was months before the, the election. Um, he, and he's releasing a statement on his health after suffering the stroke, but also at the same time, um, okay, this is this is NBC News, uh, actually. But there was another one from Penn Live that where she was uh, came out and was saying that you know he may not be returning to the campaign trail. Remember that. Um, and then we have a couple of other little things, uh, the Daily Caller. Uh, you know, was uh, mentioning about, uh, well, her response. They mentioned her response about her being critical about the Washington Post. So it's just all political drama going on there about, uh, you know, your, your, is his health good? We've seen full videos of this man trying to speak. He cannot sit, speak a full, full sentence. Um, and, you know, a lot of conservatives are like, you know, why Why is we voting in the geriatric people of limited physical and mental issues that can't talk, that can't walk, that can't, etc. You know, Biden falling off his bike, falling up the stairs multiple times and not being able to speak clearly and scrolling and bearing the pressure and all that, you know. Um, so just really weird things and and, and and Fetterman just added to it and, and of course you know Luke with We Are Change is going on about that's not good uh, how you know making a joke about Fetterman Biden 2024 uh, which I found funny I mean it was kind of mean I guess but it, it is just kind of funny if you just you know just think about it w without too much con well with con the context I, I guess but there was that. Um, and he was up against uh, Dr. Oz, if, if you remember. And I don't see why everybody hated Dr. Oz. Uh, I think it was a very close race. I don't know if there was any shenanigans going on there or, or not, as far as the vote is concerned. Who knows? Um, Fetterman had a previously undisclosed heart condition. This comes from the Politico back in June 3rd of last, last summer as well. Uh, discloses extent of heart issues. Uh, all that was coming out last June, uh, October, May, May 22nd. Okay, released from the hospital with stroke. Um, so j just a, a lot of sad things. It really is kind of sad. And I really hate that the Democrats used, especially Giselle, because I think she's half part, uh, 
mo uh, about 80% responsible for this. Um, Uh, that for rushing him and getting him back into the campaign and getting the sympathy vote and and and, and then you know me, me, me. you're an ableist you're an ableist me, 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 me. you know and just just name calling people that don't agree uh, and that's why people were questioning her all the time and 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 her her history in the media itself has been around. Because you know they're they're married, and I don't know if all three kids are are her kids or not. Uh, but I mean, she's got YouTube videos and, and interviews going back as far as September of twenty fourth of twenty nineteen. Walk and talk questions with Giselle Fetterman. So yeah, that that goes back almost four years ago. Uh, so she's loves the spotlight. Something else has happened now. Let's see here. Let let me let, let me just skip a few other things that I was I was going to mention. Um, well, and then you know, December thirteenth, they were going to say there's a, uh, a a crime show coming out with both of the Fettermans. Uh, gosh, the it just sounds like the name of a comedy sitcom, The Fettermans. Um, on Netflix, a crime show that was filmed before his campaign and before his stroke and everything. Is that out on Netflix? We have it, but I really don't look at it. My wife is enjoying some Asian, Korean kind of d dramas that she has to read the subtitles to. I mean, I feel like I might as well stick in some of my anime that I, uh, that I like watching and, and put on the subtitles and listen to that too. We just have, <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe kind of funny. But um, I, I miss my anime. But the... Um, there is so my point here I think she enjoys the spotlight because even on top of that there's somewhere I had on my first uh, video that I tried recording there's NPR um, Okay, so February 22nd, he showed up at a brew pub in Pennsylvania in Trump country, uh, was serving coffee. Uh, many de Democrats showed up that Saturday morning, and then two days after, he, he put himself into the hospital. Um, I just can't believe I, I cannot find my articles anymore. They were just here. Um... That's right, and he, he and because of his condition, he needed a computer monitor to interpret speech that he was hearing, and, and despite his not so great performance during his debate with Dr. Oz, because if you saw certain versions of it, some people showed the whole thing, so you could really tell how bad uh, his condition was, but there were some that tried to edit out some of it so it would look, make him look better. But that's what the Democrats were doing with, with, with their media outlets. Um, Fetterman somehow won the election. And then in, uh, for this uh, Gurr thing, I, I won't rate it since I'm, on, I'm putting this on YouTube. I'm, I, I don't want to get uh, slapped on the wrist like I've already have been anyway. Uh, sleeping with the fishes. Oh, okay, that, oh, I read original artwork. Okay. Um, Gur Graphics, that's what it is. Uh, that's what this is. Um, follow Gur Graphics on Gab Truth Social, Par Instagram, Telegram. Uh, okay, he's being a little facetious here, but at the same time, he mentions that the, the, their debate and how just bad he could, how, how he couldn't communicate. Um, Because he needed a, community, a computer monitor to inter interpret speech that he was hearing um, most of the time just to be able to make a response because he couldn't hear he, that, that kind of stroke that he had affects, I want to say it's the frontal lobe, um, 
that affects hearing, and if I'm wrong on this, just, just let me know, just correct me, I, I don't mind, in that how, I'm sorry, it is extremely windy. We could have some severe uh, weather come through today. Um, but this, this from this GER graphics thing, jo Senator John Fetterman has been missing for quite some time. His aides say he's on the path to recovery, but nobody knows when he might fully recover. It could take weeks or so, they say. Um, suffered a serious stroke that should have had him canceling his campaign for the Senate. It was obvious to everyone he was seriously impaired. Um, he was propped up by the ambitious Demo Democrats, including his wife, Obama, and Biden. Um, I wish I could find that one, because I had it here before, an article, uh, not an article, but an event. It was very big. They were playing loud, obnoxious music that I didn't care about. And I saw the video, uh, and I remember, I remember, I remember seeing this back last year when it was when it was fresh. What is this? The D, D, uh, WB network. Um, when it was new and uh, and current, and Biden, of all people, it was, and I, I had the quote up, up here, and it's just it's just gone. And he, he was just saying how. The wind is picked up. I'm so sorry. Uh, you know, Giselle, you're going to make a wonderful senator. And they're propping Biden, uh, our resident in chief, is propping her up. In the meantime, at the end of the year last year, she's made the media person of the year. And she's on this magazine, of all things, uh, and propping her up, propping her up, propping. Who's John? You know? Uh, with all the questions and questioning her about about the health of his husband about her husband Oh, we're not going to be transparent at all. I'm just going to dodge your questions and be critical that you're being critical about me uh, You know that that's the whole mess that was going on last year and now he has sent himself supposedly to the hospital and where does Giselle go? They run away from the media and take her kids to Canada to zip line at Niagara Falls um, and I'm just like, this is nuts. Um, no, no, this is funny. MSN put out the article on from penlive.com. It's verbatim. It's just here. And, and, uh, MSN is just sort of, maybe it's just, maybe this isn't them. Maybe it's just a, a tag. An ad, ta ad, ad tag. Um, come on, go back up. This, this is it. This is it. This is what I'm looking for. Um, Giselle Fetterman, children, uh, take trip to Canada and wake a senator's hospitalization. What happens when your husband or father or senator to boot checks into the hospital? Media truck sucker all your home. Um, and there she is looking like Morticia from the Adams Family. Pack the kids up and head to Canada, Giselle Fetterman says. Fetterman recently explained on Twitter she and her kids left Pennsylvania for a family trip to Niagara Falls to get away from the media coverage surrounding her husband's recovery at Walter Reed Medical Center in Washington, D.C. That just sounds fishy. Now, and there's some rumors, and I don't uh, want to spread rumors, but the there's possibility he could be in a coma. He could have had another stroke. This happens. My grandmother had multiple strokes, and, and, the, th and the third one, I think, is what, you know, made her pass away. Um, <clears throat> so it, it's, it's, it's sad when these things happen. It's even worse. If, you're, if you check yourself into the hospital, you have had another stroke, and your family just gets up and leaves. Now, I, I speak a lot about love on this channel uh, and relationships and Jesus and, and, the Christian, and the Christian life. This is the worst thing you can do. I've never heard of anyone this callous, this cold. Oh, your father's in the hospital. Let's go zip line. The media's in the way. I, I, I want to I wanna dodge the media, so let's go. Let's go across the, the, the state line, go, go into Canada and have fun. Um, I'm, and it's just to me, I find this very sickening. A lot of people are concerned about this, wondering about this. We talk about lots of hard things and how we will all have to face hard things about the need to be gentle. 
with all and with ourselves. We also talked about how joy and fun can and must still exist, even when someone we love is in pain. And tomorrow, who knows, we'll try all over again. That sounds like to me a bunch of nothing. She's trying to be positive. It sounds like she's trying to explain how she's decided to take her kids away from the media and, and, their, and their father in the hospital, of all things, um, about this. This is just nuts. Um, yeah, people, uh, you know, when your Fetterman's health went south, his wife went north. Giselle is on vacation while her husband is hospitalized. What a terrible wife. Uh, wow, Giselle doesn't appear to be lo uh, lo the loving wife she portrayed during the campaign. <laughs> I didn't see her as loving either. The competition is over. We have a winner. Giselle Fetterman edges out. Um, I mean, it's just one thing after another. Um, okay, whoa. Discharge from the hospital will return to Senate on Monday. Okay, that is like right now, I think. NBC News. Maybe this is true. Breaking news, yeah. Um, so we'll see. So may, and supposedly he went in for depression. Um, maybe he, he he was out of. Oh, that's what that was. Crap! I gotta move that. Um, but I just find this very weird how her her callous, somewhat cold actions uh, towards her husband, and how with Biden saying. And, and there was another woman, another politician, Democrat, Missouri, uh, where the, was it a Missouri Democrat or Missouri governor, uh, male uh, somebody, Carnahan, died in a plane crash and his wife took over his, his political position. And so this does happen. It can happen. So, which found, found it odd that while they were campaigning, before even the election, Biden actually says to everybody uh, uh, in, in the in the in the TV and every in everything how, oh well we can't wait for you Giselle to you're gonna make a great lady and a great senator. Is that not just a little morbid? Um, and, and I remember seeing a video of her being interviewed. And her personality was just dripping through, and it was not a good personality. It was not a good look. And I, I couldn't find that video again. And I, it was just very telling of who this person is. And it really made made it out. She is the brains of this operation. I mean, yes, she may have been his, um, you know, I, I forgot the, I wrote it down. I, I, I can't find my notes from, from, from previously. Um, uh, that's right. I typed it into my computer and I and I, and I, and I hit 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 X'd it out. Um, surrogate, uh, his surrogate for when he was not camp was off the campaign trail because of the stroke in May of last year, and he was out 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 for the count for about three months, uh, and and she was speaking for him. Well, I think she's been his surrogate ever since, uh, basically. Uh, due to his health and everything. So we're going to see where, where this goes. Um, he needs information because he needs a little bit of extra help with auditory processing still. Uh, made and Those accommodations been made in the Senate. There is a question... And they're even even NBC. Oh, it's, it's gone now. It was about a three minute video uh, about a need for transparency. Duh, we were people were wanting that, pen, that transparency in Pennsylvania last year when they were campaigning before the election. And I've gone over twenty minutes again. We'll we'll cut it here. But yeah, um, I'm just glad he's okay. He is going to be back. It looks like on Monday. Oh, at the Senate, but this is just strange. Uh, that it, this is just strange. I do not find this this woman to be as innocent as she tries to appear, because I don't think she appears innocent in my eyes at all. But that's just me. Um, but I just find it odd that 
when you are held up and you're heralded as the the media woman of the year or media person of the year, or whatever. Uh, this past December and put on magazines and, and built up and built up and when the the going gets tough you leave because you 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 don't want to be questioned by the media honey you were eating it up last year and and, and 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 adding into the drama as well we'll see you next time I, I feel sorry for Pennsylvania um, that what's happening to them I cannot believe this guy got voted in I really can't um, I mean, like uh, people have been joking, the geriac geriatric Democrat position as it continues to get bigger and they just get older and wider and everything else. Have a great day. Have a blessed day. We'll see you next time.